take me very close to uh, this icon of Murray the Skull. Alright, I get a point for drinking some water. Ah, ah life giving water. water. Nectar, Nectar of, of the, the gods. gods. Alright, so this would be skull territory. Hey! Okay, it's a skeleton with uh, a boot. Uh-oh. A picked clean and sun-bleached skeleton lies in the sand of the hot, dry desert. What happened? Who can say? But it makes Graham uneasy nevertheless. What? We've seen what happens when you go out into the desert for more than 20 seconds without a constant supply of fluids in your system. Graham reaches down and so it's a pretty safe bet the guy the died sand. from... Uh, dehydration, I guess would be the term I'm looking for. All right, uh, we're going to skip the well, and I'm going to go straight over, and there is another oasis. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must uh -huh. drink, and soon. This game really holds you to some really unrealistic expectations. Okay, so here's oasis. Ah. Uh. Life-giving Life water. water. Nectar of the, the gods. gods! Graham can now feel... I love saying that. Alright, so over one, and then I'm going to go down. And I'm really hoping finding this bandit camp is a good thing, and not a bad thing. We'll find out in a minute. Chances are I'm just going to go in there and get my throat sliced open, and my larynx pulled out, my bandits. Uh, no, I got a point. Uh, it looks like I can steal some of their water. Let's do so. There's just no bandits are going to come ah, out of every life giving, giving water. water. Nectar of the gods. Nectar Green of the gods. gods. All right. So we filled ourselves up with nectar of the gods. Anytime you're finished, Graham. Thank you. Uh, so we'll start exploring these people's tents and see if you can steal their shit. Um, nothing is apparent in here. Assorted odds and ends clutter the inside of this small tent. All right, so apparently nothing interesting. So let's back out of here and into the big... Any Jesus fucking Christ! That wasn't a very smart move, Graham. Fuck you, game. So, uh, all right. So, uh, all right, so I'm guessing there's a point to this bandit camp. But if there is one, it eludes me. So, um, okay, so I'm back right next to the anthill. So I'm going to go down one. God! Ugh. No warning, without hint or preview, a bandit comes out of the tent and slices my fucking throat. I t called it, I called it, but it didn't happen immediately. It kind of lulled me into a false sense of security before the bandit came open and ripped my throat out. <sighs> All right, so let's go back to the oasis. We'll grab a drink. <sighs> Fill myself up on nectar of the uh, gods. Yeah, we know. Thanks there, dude. And then we'll move over to Murray the Skull and rob him of his boots. And then I guess we'll go down and see what this what that well is. I'm not sure what I can do to interact with it. Uh... It certainly can't be any worse than going to the temple, which has no interactivity whatsoever. The bandit camp, where they just want to fucking s slice me. I'll cut you, man. I'll cut you. So, all right. Oasis Ho. The hut? Yeah, I know. Fortunately, water is about 10 paces away. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, nectar of the gods. All right. So, it looks like it is down one and then. Over a couple. Uh, oh, this looks depressing. Loading. A small well. Graham's hot, thirsty body is irresistibly drawn to it. It's going to hurt me. Just in case. Um, grab this rope. Uh, ah. Yeah. What's... Hey, there's water down there. Dude, that, that bucket's got to weigh like 50 ah, pounds. Life-giving life water, nectar of the gods. You said it before. 
Well, why, why would I not just make it an oasis? I mean, there's got to be something All special about this Graham place. Sees nothing but more desert. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm still kind of sniffly, as you can tell. But, oh, 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 wait. All right, I can't go right because there's that's scorpion territory. So I got to go up, what, one, two, three, four spaces, and then head back over. So I wandered out to the desert, and I got from my troubles a boot. I have a boot, and I lost count of the spaces because I was having fun saying a boot, like a Canadian would say about. So let's let's re let's recap what I've been questing for, shall we? I have a custard pie, which is probably the most valuable of my uh, inventory at the moment. I have a shitty boot I just picked up from a dead man in the desert. A honeycomb for from that really kind of hot bee, and then uh, a magic wand that does not work. I think uh, Graham's life has taken a real severe downturn. All right, hey, civilization. And no scorpions! We're good. Alright, so now. Well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Loading. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. I won't tell him about the tough times I got I got caught with my face down in the desert for my dehydration. Hey! Dog! A bully of a dog terrorizes the poor ants as he playfully digs at their large anthill. He's not doing anybody any harm. He playfully digs. It's not... Can I... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to say, I was just going to like maybe pet the dog and see if I can chew it away, but chances are, knowing this game, it's going to be rabid and it's going to, you know, chew my thorax. The dog doesn't seem to be a friendly sort at all. He's playfully digging. How unfriendly could he be? Oh, Graham, that dog looks mean. Oh. Hey, C Cedric! Way to, way to look back to my back, homie, but I'm gonna let him kill me anyway. Come on, kill me. Dog. Alright, fine, alright. So, this game only wants to kill me when I'm not looking for it. If I try to walk headlong into death, I'm gonna try throwing a shoe at it. Duh. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Tim Whoa. Ants Way to Go. King Ants. Why that's to you, Art? What? Why, certainly. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and this is my friend Cedric. We're seeking a way to cross the Great Mountains to the ocean on the other side. Oh, so that's, that's our goal. Uh, I wish you would reconsider. But why doesn't Cedric just pull out his little. Pouch of fucking pixie dust. And... All right, never mind. Yeah. Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate your kind offer. We look forward well, to I do. meeting you again. I don't know about again. Cedric. Cedric doesn't really have seemed to appreciate much of anything. Hey, whoa, hey, kick and dance, dude. You just see. Is that the new dance train? Don't say it. Ah. <laughs> Bugaloo. That's terrible. Alright, so I I now have the loyalty of a colony of ants. How can this work to my benefit? Alright. Um, I don't know how to deal with the witch in the forest yet to help out the willow tree. So she's just going to have to be alone with her sorrow at the moment. Not going in there. Uh, I don't think we did go this way yet. Let's see what's this way. Hey! I know this place. It's completely useless, but I know this place. Alright, and then we have uh, the non-venomous snake, of course. Now, what am I supposed to do with this snake, anyway? Oh. My. God. Oh, it's root switch, bolt, frog. It's a very simple three-step process.